Alright lads, this is wing lad, wing lad, wing lad, come on. Premier League's over, sadly. And traditionally, you got to react to your predictions. So, you'll see some flashbacks of my old video about eight months ago. So let's get into this. Starting with 20th, I went... Mate, they, mate, Lewis. They've gone for good signings, but it's not enough. Yes, they've signed Matias Pereira from uh, on a permanent deal uh, from Sporting Lisbon. They've also um, they signed that West West Ham youngster, I think. Um, to be fair, I'm not wrong. They didn't do enough West Brom. They were quite atrocious, to be honest. We lost to them. Uh, we lost them once and drawn once to them. They finished 19th in the end, so that's plus one on the thing. You know, it's not not too bad. I've just uh, yes, they've signed Alfonso Ariola um, from PSG on a loan, I, I believe, um, which is a great signing, superb. But I still think the nineteenth because I still don't think that keeping most of their players and bringing a few youth stars, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even call them stars, youth products to fill the bench, you know, um, but. Uh, if you look at Sheffield, yes, they had a top quality goalkeeper and people knew that because he was top quality in the championship. But people were like, is he going to... Yes, Ariola's probably um, proven to be a better goalkeeper, like highly rated at the time. She, um, Dean Henderson was coming into the Premier League last season. But I just don't think there's enough quality there. Um, it's more individuals in Fulham than it's a team, in my opinion. Fulham, again, 19th. You know, Ariola didn't do enough for them. He was decent for them. But they didn't do well. They finished 18th, so that's um, that's negative one. Not too bad, another one place. 18th position is, is quite a controversial one. I've gone for Crystal Palace. Now people be like, see people have got them in like 15th and 14th, but I honestly can't see why. Yes, they've signed Eze from QPR, but like, I, I is that gonna is that gonna move you up four places? I mean, I could be, you know, again, I could be looking like an idiot, which I'm gonna say for every prediction now, but um. I don't think they have enough quality. Their defence, in my opinion, is not good enough. Yes, Mitchell, uh, they've played him quite recently. Uh, Van Arnholt's injured. Nathan Ferguson's also a good signing, but... I just I, I just can't see them. And I think Zaha's going to crumble as well, so I'm going for them 18th. Oh dear, it's the first idiotic one. For Crystal Palace to be relegated 18th. I mean, Zaha didn't do that well this season, but they ended 14th. Which is why I said, which is where people commonly put it, uh, put them. So plus four on that, not not good. Not now. If they keep Jack Grealish, um, they literally just signed Ollie Watkins from Brentford, which is, I mean, he was unbelievable in the Championship, as I've heard. I mean, I've watched a bit of it, but he's still he's still been sick from what I watched of him, uh, which is a small margin. Um, I think they'll just have enough quality again and finish in the exact same position as they did last season. Um, and who knows, if they get 17th place, maybe they can maybe push 10th place um, the following season after. Aston Villa. <sighs> Bad prediction. To be fair, some people I knew put them in the relegation zone, but at least I said them staying up. But it's still an awful prediction. Controversial one. I mean... Yeah, Marcel Bielsa ball, you know, whatever you want to call it, okay? He hasn't managed in the Premier League. Yes, he's a great coach. I know that. But I think Leeds are overhyped. Yes, they've, they've made good signings as well. They've signed Rodrigo, um, and they've kept quite a lot of their players. Um, they've made everyone happy. Um, there's probably a lot more Leeds signings there, but I just... I, I can't see them pushing mid-table. Leeds, no, not a good prediction. I didn't think they'd do well at all. I think they'll do enough to stay up, but they did really well. They did really well for Leeds, considering coming up from the Championship. Very impressive. Prove me wrong. Fair play, Leeds. No, Valbian. Um, they've got Graham Potter under their arms. Um, I just feel like they'll just be okay. You know, they'll just be okay. Who knows, they might have an like a really solid end or start and then just kind of crumble but um 
I think they'll just be comfortable like they were last season. Well, not comfortable, comfortable, but just comfortable in not being in a relegation race uh, or battle. Um, so, yeah. Brighton, I think it's a solid prediction. One place off, not bad. That's minus one. Um, now, um, I think this is quite a reasonable prediction for them. Um, obviously, they've still got Antonio, who's in fine form. Um West Ham haven't done exactly a lot of business. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't. I haven't seen them sign that that top quality player. Um, I think that'd just be enough, like comfortable, like Brighton, and yeah, that's why I've gone for them in fourteenth position. West Ham, ooh, eight places off, eight places off, minus eight. Ooh, dear. Yeah, that's not a good prediction. Some people put them in relegation zones, so at least I put them mid-table-ish. But yeah, terrible prediction. For Burnley, um, which is a couple of uh, places lower um, than they finished last season. Um, I feel like, yes, Pope will still be a quality goalkeeper. I think he'll stay for one season and then he'll move on. Um, but I kind of feel like maybe teams might read Burnley a little bit better, but Burnley will be very Not too bad, not great. Teams did start to read them. Uh, they didn't do. They didn't do very well. Did worse off than last season. Not bad. Minus four. But yeah, not great either. United twentieth. And yes, I've just given it away. Yes, I've gone for Sheffield United in twelfth position. Um, now, teams be like maybe people can, might argue that um, they've read uh, Sheffield United a lot better um, than they did last season. But yeah, that's why I've gone for like a couple of positions lower. Um, I feel like it'd just be quality again. I think, who knows, Chris Wilder might come up with a, another tactical masterclass and just overcome against the top sides in the Premier League. Now, this is the worst prediction. 12th, Sheffield United. Wow. Oh, dear. <sighs> Minus eight. Mm, that's so bad. Whoa. Teams did start to read them, but... Oh. So, um, they've... Quality, they've si quality signings. Fraser, uh, Jamal Lewis from Norwich, Callum Wilson, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, they're also looking at Sumar from Lille. They've had a thirty million bid reject, uh, I, I believe, um, from like a source, but it, it could be bullshit. But who knows? Eleventh uh, Newcastle. I think that's solid. I mean, most of the time they spent near the relegation zone and then as soon as they were safe they went on to win the next three games and then they finished 12th in the end but 11th reasonable uh so it's minus one so relatively good prediction still no bang-ons yet i've gone for southampton uh, in 10th uh, i think danny ings will have another solid season i don't think he'll get as many goals but he'll still be very quality um They've also built a nice midfield, Ward, Prowse, Stuart Armstrong. I mean, if you're saying this two seasons ago, Lewis, you're like, what are you talking about? But I think people may agree or may argue that this season uh, they're looking a lot more comfortable. Um, maybe maybe they could upgrade a few centre-backs. Shea Adams has gone back into form. I mean, who knows what he's going to do. It's like, it's anyone's game, anyone's bet. You know, you could bet anything. Anything can happen. He could be like... Who knows, you could have a Danny Ying season, or you could have a Joe Lington season. Oh dear, Southampton. Oh dear. I just can't see... I, can't, I couldn't stop talking about them doing well, but... Well, they were top of the league for like three days, I think. <laughs> no, they just went all the way down. I've gone for Leicester. Um, I think this is like a common prediction for Leicester in ninth position uh, from other people. Um, I just feel like they're just going to be... I think they'll just that lockdown form will just get to them and I think that's why they're just gonna they may battle for Europa League and they might even get it who knows um but I don't think they'll have that cutting edge I think Vardy I don't think he'll be top goal goal scorer uh, excuse me uh this season again like he was last um ninth Leicester oh dear oh dear I mean they they bottle Champions League so it could have been an even worse prediction they finished fifth in the end Plus four. And could argue had have had the best transfer window. I mean, obviously it's not closed yet, but um, obviously I think Chelsea, uh, my my beloved side, have had a better transfer window. But anyways, on to the topic of Everton. Uh, they signed James Rodriguez, Alan Decore, 
um, I think a couple more. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, that's quality signings. And if they don't get top eight, I think that's just so not too bad. Not too bad. But they finished tenth in the end, so minus two. But you know, not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take a two difference. You know, not too bad. At the first season in a row, they finished seventh. I feel like they might ju they might just miss out on Europa League again, uh, or they could push higher. They could get Piff, Who knows? Who knows what could happen next season? They could even be in the top four. But um, they've also, like I said, they haven't got Europa League, so they've got they can rest a lot more. Well, they can't really rest, but they can play a lot more players without resting as much. Um, like Jimenez, like because they were heavy reliant. They signed, excuse me, Fabio. Which, if they play two up front with Fabio and Jimenez, and then Yota and Traore or Podence uh, or Pedro Neto, that's a really nice uh, attack there, attacking threat. Um, so, but yeah, I, I just feel like they they might um, slip up a bit from Europe. Seventh Wolves, very bad prediction, but if Jimenez stayed fit all season, they could have potentially finished around that area. They ended up finishing 13th, so not very good for Wolves. But not too bad, considering I didn't have him. And as Fabio Silva didn't do enough. Their circle was strike force. Adama was awful. Yotta transferred to Liverpool. Fabio Silva did nothing. And Jimenez obviously got injured. So, yeah. Number four. Uh, hate this team. Uh, Tottenham. Um, people might say you're being biased, Lewis. Why aren't you putting Tottenham higher? Uh, they've had an OK transfer window. Quite a decent one. They signed Hoiber from Southampton. And they signed Doherty uh, out from Wolves um, which are which are decent signings they're very decent um, but I just feel like Tottenham again they'll have that inconsistent spree um, I think they'll have that period and then they'll just be decent enough to get comfortable in the Europa League spot so yeah Spurs I mean I was pretty generous <laughs> giving them European spot they could they did get European but I didn't know the Conference League was going to exist they ended up finishing seventh. Reasonable prediction for them. One off, negative one. Um, they got obviously a Bamiang. Um, they signed Willian, um, and they they signed Gabriel, and they signed another centre back. I think I can't remember. Or well, they might not. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> my my brain's just gone blunt. Um, but yeah, they've made decent signings. Um, and I think they'll get a very comfortable Europa League spot, an automatic qualification. They might even challenge, could argue they push for top four, which could happen. Could not. Now this one was really bad. How can you overhype Arsenal? I'm going to keep on respecting Arsenal so they keep doing bad all season. But we lost to them twice, Chelsea. They could have even been 10th, 11th. But yeah, not great. They ended up finishing 8th. So miss out on the Conference League qualification spot. Love to see it. I've gone for Manchester United, the the want Sancho FC, as I like to call them, <laughs> before the season starts tomorrow. Um, they've signed Van der Beek and agreed personal talks for Sancho. So, uh, but yeah, uh, they'll get fourth, I think, because um, they have quality, they're quality attack. But Manchester United, <laughs> not great. Uh, they ended up finishing second, minus two off that. Sorry, plus two. Manchester City. Now, this could be the most controversial thing I have said of the video, looking back um, when it's May or whenever the season finishes. Um, they've signed Ake from Bournemouth and they've signed Ferran Torres from Valencia. Now, I think another youngster from the Spanish League itself. Um... I just feel like they have an inconsistent spree, and I think Aguero's just going to pick up another injury, or, or who knows if De Bruyne um, picks up another injury. He's he's their best player. You you can't you can't argue. I mean, maybe if Sterling's a little bit better, he could be pushing De Bruyne. But De Bruyne is the best player in Manchester City side. Oh dear! Oh no. To be fair, De Bruyne and Aguero all got injured, but they still managed to cope. Phil Foden. Up to his game, and wow, what a season he had, and ended up winning the title. Plus two on the points tally. I'd uh, gone for Chelsea. Oh.
I really hope we get first, but uh, let's go. Let's go second. Let's go second. I mean, any, anyone can say that Chelsea, um, are my team, have had the best transfer window of the season in the world. Um, I mean, I mean, you know, it. Everton might be pushing there, but we've we've signed Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Thiago Silva, Ben Chilwell, um, Hakim Ziyech. You know. It, it's quality. It's see. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I thought I was underappreciated. I generally thought we might actually win. Well, I was wrong. Frank Lampard got sat. Too short. Came in, recovered us, and we finished fourth in the end. So minus two on that. Uh, Liverpool. Uh, they'll just have enough quality. I swear. If it's another season of a twenty-point gap, Liverpool. Ugh. Just like I really hope I don't get this prediction right. Um, but yeah, but their front three will be quality. I, th I, I mean, they they might even focus on winning the Champions League again, maybe a FA Cup or a League Cup. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've gone for first Liverpool. Liverpool champions. I should have thought that their squad's um, thin, but you know, most people did put them to win in the league or Manchester City. It is what it is. Not great. Not great at all. Total score for the difference. Of the team, so I'm not doing negative, otherwise, it'll look like a decent score. 71. 71. Oh, God. Because obviously, zero is perfect. That is actually awful. Oh, my word. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will do a prediction for next season when the time comes near, nearer the time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. We'll be right back.